Uh, hello everyone, I hope you're seeing this. Um, I'm playing Space Engineers. Um, sorry about the sound issues. Um, but this game is now running, aside from, from the sound issues, this game is running, uh, pretty flawlessly now. I've been playing this game actually for the last couple of, like the last week. Um, but I've been playing it before today, which, uh, it's, what is it, October 10th or something? Well, it looks like it. Or the 11th. Um, and I was playing with really not great frame rate. Um, it was, uh, it was not, it was playable for me, but I wouldn't consider it playable for anyone else at that point. Um, but now it's, uh, uh, as you can see, I'm, need to charge up. I'm, uh, I started a zero start game uh, in space. And the only way to survive in space in a zero start is to go and commandeer a pirate ship. Which, this one was fortunately decommissioned. As you can tell from the big old sign. Um, and I've been slowly... I basically built this refinery and this assembler just from harvesting parts off the ship. Uh, now I'm just dropping off stone because I need to produce a hydrogen tank and an oxygen tank. Uh, my oxygen situation is solved, well at least temporarily. Um, yeah, I can come into this room and these are some oxygen tanks right here. some oxygen in it. Not much, but uh, I could just pressurize and depressurize the room when I uh, come in and just grab a seat, get some power. Um, it looks like the ship has some power issues right now. I had to change one of the locations of the uh, solar panels. Um, I'd really like to just rotate the ship, but... Look at. I think I just need to make a command. Do hickey. Although there might not be any gyros. Ugh, my hydrogen is getting getting low. I'm upside down. Can't rotate without propulsion. missing something. I think it's not enough power. Yeah. The issue is not that the assembler doesn't work. The issue is that the sun is in a different direction. So I got a solar panel. Um, yeah, but I was playing this game, I was pretty much just sticking to, like, low-level stuff like this, like, because, um, I didn't really want to play with <laughs> doing anything extreme, because the frame rate was not good, so, there was no point in recording it, because it was garbage, um, pretty much unplayable, I wouldn't say un it was unplayable, by anyone else's standards, it was unplayable, but I'm a person who has played 
Deus Ex Invisible War at like 14 frames a second. I mean, uh, yeah, 14 frames a second. It was, the frame rate was a lot better than that. I was thinking I was getting like probably 24 frames. I had everything on low though. Now everything's on medium. And um, yeah, I'm pretty much getting native performance as I would on Windows. I did have to, getting this game to work is a little bit of a pain. Um, you gotta get, you have to have wine tricks installed. I use Proton tricks. It's basically the same thing as wine tricks, but you don't have to define the wine prefix and just give it hand of the um, app ID number from Steam. It'd be really nice if Steam implemented Proton tricks natively in their client, just had a GUI for, you know, just call it game configure or something. And then it just helps you get games like Space Engineers running, because this is not. Um, this is definitely one of the, uh... Okay, it should have produced the thing. I got three solar panels. Man, what's eating my power? Thing shouldn't be taking up that much power. What's eating my power? This panel's taking a hundred watts. that there was a hydrogen generator already out here. There's no way I can get power cells from the batteries to just turn into scrap. What if I can just rotate? 
break the ship. I guess that's all I really wanted to show is this is uh, working. Um, pretty, uh, pretty uh, impressive. Uh, I think I'm just gonna try and get back to this then. So, uh, yeah. Uh, that's all I really wanted to show. Pretty amazing, pretty amazing. It's uh, it's pretty amazing when you're on Linux now, and um, you've got a game that you're playing that doesn't work, and then you just uh, wait, and then a couple months down the line, someone figures out how to make it work. Uh, that's really what. It, the experience on Linux is like right now. It's just the amount of games that continue to be improved, thanks primarily to Valve, um, but a lot of hard work from the open source community, for sure. Um, it's, uh, it's, it's a great time to be on Linux. It's the best time really that I, you know, I've, I've tried to be getting to Linux, switch to Linux for over a decade, for sure, for sure, and um, every time I've done it, it's always been not a great experience, um, and it's, this time it's much different, much different, um, I mean, I can tolerate these sound, I was tolerating some pretty bad FPS playing this game. And uh, just waking up today and, you know, like, reinstalling the wine prefix and running the uh, tutorial. Uh, and now getting this frame rate, which I don't know what the frame rate is, but it sure feels pretty close to 60 FPS. But obviously more than 30. And I'm on medium settings, so, uh, you know, I was, <laughs> I was running on low, getting, like, 14, not 14. I was probably getting like 20. No. Well, it, yeah, actually, it was like 20 frames, but it was stuttering. So it do the duh, 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 duh sort of thing. It wasn't quite that bad. It was like duh, duh. In fact, it's still doing it. You can see, you can see it's doing. But that, ugh, it's way better. Way, but totally playable. You can totally play this online. Totally play with my friend. I was having, I was playing with my brother last night, and uh, he uh, he was running the server because I was like, I can't run the server, dude. <laughs> There's no way. And now I'm like, oh, I can run the server. No problem. No problem today. So um, yeah, uh, I think for me personally, the only game that's not working is uh, Battle Eye in Arma Three. Uh, and it's sort of working right now. Like, I could jump into a server for 15 minutes and uh, the server, <laughs> until the server kicks me. Or the game, actually, it's not so much that the server kicks me, it's like the game crash. I think the, the, the client fail, the battle eye client fails and the game crashes, but uh, other than that, like, um, I just, I'm, now that Space Engineers is running, I can't think of that many games that um, that I play that don't work on Linux, uh, or that I want to play. You know, there's games that don't work, I suppose, but it's, it's, I, it's pretty amazing. It's it's really fun to see just wake up and uh, all of a sudden, oh, it's <laughs> you know how I switched to Linux and I had that problem where uh, it's not as good as Windows. Um, yeah, I don't have that problem anymore. 
And it hasn't crashed. I haven't has, has had this thing crashing. My graphics card was on fire playing this game earlier. And um, I don't think it's hurting that bad at all now. It would have crashed already, especially since I'm recording. Um, all right, okay, I've gone on long enough. Um, thanks for checking this video out. Uh, have, have a good one. Hopefully, uh, hopefully anyone running Linux, uh, maybe, or want thinking about switching, hopefully this, uh, helps you, convince you. Yeah. All right.